Good evening, my name's Vicky. Welcome to the Rugby Store. Um, I'm going to show you how to use acrylic paints and our pouring medium um, to do some fluid art. Uh, first of all, can I just let you know about all the things we've done in store to ensure our colleagues and customers are safe. Um, if you'd like to check out the website for more details. Also, I can let you know later on about our Artist of the Year competition 2020 um, and I'll let you know afterwards. Okay. Right, we're going to run through four techniques first. Um, what I've done before I've even started is I've um, masked the areas that I don't want to get paint on um, with some frog tape. Um, this just means it's a really, really messy um, artwork, which isn't a bad thing. In fact, it's absolutely brilliant. It's a very relaxing thing to be doing um, because you have to generally let go and let the paint do all the work. Um, you just need to mix it. So first of all, if I just show you um, how I'm going to mix up the fluid art, because first of all, we've got um, this Pebio acrylic paint. Um, all the stuff I'm using today is actually in our art sale. We're going to do one part acrylic paint. So I'm just going to squeeze a load into the cup. There we go. And then the same again, so one part of the pouring fluid. This just lets the um, paint flow across the canvas um, rather than stay where it is. So I'm just going to mix that together first. Now the amount of water you need is only down to how fast you want the paint to flow across the canvas. If you do it very thin, um, your paints are going to mix together quite a bit and sort of give you that muddy finish see how it's just it's not quite dropping how I'd want it off the off the stick so I'm going to add a little bit of water I don't like putting too much water in um, because everything goes a bit too fast across the canvas it's getting that so lots of artists refer to it as a, a warm honey finish if I pour it now yeah see it's dripping off the spoon nicely Add a tiny bit more. There we go. Right, so I have got four colours here. I don't want to use too many because I want it to have a really strong effect. Right, next I'm going to add this magic stuff. So this is silicon oil. Um, lots of people when they talk about fluid art, um, they like the cells in the work. So this one um, it's quite a chaotic piece, but it's um, got cells all the way across it. So this bubble finish is what the silicon oil does. Um, but you only need one or two drops. If you use too much, you won't get any cells at all. So there's one, two. Okay. Now I'm only going to put silicon oil in this one because the other ones, I just want the water, the, the paint, sorry, to flow rather than create these bubbles okay there we go perfect right i'm going to get a container now i'm going to start with white at the bottom and then i'm going to pour these colors in one by one because of the density of the paint they're not actually going to mix in together Green. I'm actually going to add a little bit more water. Just make it flow a little bit better. That one's a bit thick. Okay. And I'm going to add some blue. And I'm going to repeat the process all over again because it's quite a big canvas, this one. The really nice thing about this canvas is it's got edges so your paint isn't going to flow right off the edge like it is on some of the other ones what I've got underneath is I've got just got a drip tray it just stops the uh, table from being covered in paint for any other demos I would strongly recommend using clothes that you don't mind getting ruined because Although acrylic's water-based and it washes, um, it's better not to take the risk. There we go. 
so we've got loads of paint here. Okay. And we're going to pour it now. Now this is a bit about letting go. I'm just going to need the paint to do what it does. Okay, so I'm going in a little swirling motion here so you can see the way it's going to spread out. I want lots of paint on the canvas because I'm going to move it around in a minute. Now already, because of the silicon oil, you're starting to get the little bubbles. And now you can see the white's coming through from the bottom. White tends to fall, fall fastest because it's slightly denser, so let's put all the paint on. There we go. Looks beautiful already. And then you're going to lift your canvas and you're going to have some fun moving it around. Now these take uh, one to two days to dry so that they're completely solid. Do you know the nicest thing about watching these is letting the paint do its own thing. <coughs> And it's quite mesmerising to watch as well. So we have a couple of comments. Yep, go for it. Uh, so Stephanie, <laughs> Chrissy, and Emma are saying hi. Hello, guys. Um, we also have a question from uh, Lisa saying, "What was the pouring medium?" I think she may have. Ah, uh, this is one. this is our pouring medium. Just here, this is our Hobbycraft own brand one. There are lots of different ones, but this one's really good. I use it quite a lot. Um, it's just a way of thinning your paint to make them move um, across the canvas. It's on offer at the moment. Um, okay, thanks for that question, Lisa. Yeah, thank you very much. No, no worrying about the um, edges, obviously, because you've got your masking tape on. So you just want to make sure it gets to all the corners. Is that okay like that, Tom? Can you mm -hmm. see? Brilliant. So it's already going over the edge. So what I've got ready is a whole load of uh, cups for it to stand on level on my other table. And then what you're watching for, and it will happen slowly, is you're starting to get all these little bubbles here. And because I haven't put too much silicon oil, they won't go crazy. Um, but they'll just sort of pop up around the artwork and it just gets better and better over time. When it's all dry, I can peel off the uh, masking tape um, and leave it to dry. I'm quite pleased with that. There we go. So I'm just going to leave it on the cup so it's on a nice flat surface. If you don't put it on a flat surface, your paint will just continue to move. If you've got it nice and flat, it will stay how you want it as you've left it. Right, oh, the drip tray's not too messy. I'm quite impressed with that. Okay, so on to our next one. I really like this canvas. So this is just a... Uh, full wood canvas all the way down and I'm going to cover this one first in black paint because when I pour onto it let me just swap the piece of artwork over so you can see what we're doing next just here. I like this one uh, my children love this one A mess. You'll see why we need a drip tray now. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this tool here to make it nice and on the surface. Again, I've got the masking tape on, so that's fine. Not going to get messy. The other thing you can do is you can let it drip over the edge. Um, but these particular canvases are so nice and finished, I quite like putting the wood across the edge on it. So we seem to have lost your sound. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to try and set something else up. Bear with us, everybody. I'm not going to do the sorting for me, Tom. Um, Vicky, if you could just check on your pack. Mm -hmm. um, the light's still on. How's that? No 
Okay. Sorry. Carry on. Okay. I'm talking through it. Okay, so I'm going to use my bottles here. So that's exactly the same mixture um, with slightly less water. Um, I may add some if I need it, but I think it should be okay. Now I'm going to do this nice stripe across the center of the canvas. Um, the most important thing is not starting on the canvas. You start before the canvas and after the canvas. Okay, just going to flow it across. And do the same again a bit further across. There we go. So do one through the center. There's no hard and fast rule to any of this, so whatever you like, just keep adding until you're happy. Okay, I'm gonna add some of this lovely blue here. I, I like this because I think it's slightly wave-like. Okay. Add some of the turquoise. These ones are um, the Dyna paints, which have a iridescent finish to them. There we go. Okay. I'll be all right now. Okay. Right. So now I'm going to add some of the white as well. You can already see the paints are kind of starting to merge with each other, which is really nice. So the white's just going to go through. There we go. I'm finally I'm going to put some gold through it. The gold comes up really nicely against the black in this one. Okay. Done that. Now, fun bit. I'm going to move this paint around. So I'm going to start by moving it forwards. And then I'm going to move it towards me. So I'm going to slide off some of the excess. Now this is always a bit of an experiment with this paint artwork because the paint's going to do what it wants to do. You can add some to it um, and put your technique in it, but it's always going to do its own thing. The other thing you can do, I've got this paint here with silicon oil in it and I can add some of that as well and let it react with the paint on the canvas. some more gold to the edge. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just sort of going to leave it um, so that the paints can react to each other. The silicon oil's in there with that blue. And then if I'm not happy with it, I can just add more paint or I can wait and see. But the really nice thing about these canvases is if it dries and you don't like it, uh, you can just start again. Pop some more paint on and have some more fun. If you take a short break, then I can switch to the audio. Probably. Absolutely.
So we're just going to take a very quick break. We'll be back in just a second. We will be back with you. Testing, testing. Okay. Yep. Uh, is it working now? Hello. Sorry, we are back. I have a technical sound issue. Right, so now I am moving on to this string one that gives you this calla lily effect just here and I've got my white acrylic pouring fluid and water mix here I've just added a little bit more water for this one to make it a little bit more fluid I'm just going to give it a really good mix okay I've got another really nice canvas here it's about white canvas it's not going to be very white with my messy hands. Okay. I'm going to cover this one again. Because the white's a little bit more liquid, I'm just going to let it spread out by itself. Something really satisfying about just watching the paint <laughs> go across the canvas, let alone anything else. Canvas covered. You see why I need a drip tray now as well. There we go. I'll do this all the way to the other side. There we go. Perfect. I've also let this one drip down the sides as well. Okay, so I've got my blue paint here. And if they haven't disappeared, I've got some string. I'm going to dip the string into my paint, but I haven't dipped it all, so I've got one clean end to hold on to. Right, so I've covered it nicely. And then I'm just going to hold the stick to the edge so I'm not absolutely saturating it. There we go. Managed to get a knot in it, but you could do that without holding it. There we go. And then I'm going to lay down a nice S shape in my canvas. Okay. There's one. Lay that down. Try it with the green as well. If you want to look at it online, this one's called a string pull canvas. Okay. And I'm going to do the same again. You can overlap them if you want to. And I'm going to go for one more in the red. There we go. 
go. You can see these um, Diner colours by Pebio. They really catch the light. So this one's got like a, a beautiful iridescent purple sheen on it. Right, so my last string. I'll put that in the middle. Yeah. Okay. If I can move the canvas away from me because that's going to really drip this way. Okay, so now I want to pull the strings in a nice straight line. There you go. I like this minute, this moment. There we go. Oop. And then if I want to, I can do it all over again, somewhere else on the canvas. And you get lots of them. So Claire is asking, yeah. um, do you have to start with a thick covering on your base colour? No, you don't. Um, not at all. I like to because it gives the whole painting a bit more flow. But the very first one I did had a dry canvas before I put the paint down. So no, you don't. It's all about what you like doing. I don't think there are some hard and fast rules with this kind of thing because it's more about what the paint does and what you can do to interrupt it and see what techniques come next. Okay, let's do some blue. Okay. It's also not so much, well, I love the, the effects that come out of these. It's not just that, the actual doing of them is, is a really relaxing thing to do. Okay, this one's going to be quite messy for me to cut. Sorry, Tom, I'm just going to get up and move that one. Okay. Okay, the last one I'm going to do... is this one here. Okay. This one, I am going to put some paint down, but I'm not going to cover my canvas with it. I'm going to start with paint in either corner. So I'm going to start with black in one corner and then white in the other. Spread this out to the corner. Okay. So we are getting a couple of connectivity problems. Okay. Um, it should sort itself out. <laughs> If it doesn't, then come back uh, in a couple of hours and you will be able to watch it through uh, in a higher resolution. It's the joy of Wi-Fi. Okay, right, so here's the other corner. I'll just spread the paint out. Right, so using the bottled colours, on the white side I'm only going to use colours and white acrylic, on the black side I'm using colours and black acrylic, and we're going to do it like a target shape. So you've got this colour here, and one on the other side. And then we're going to add another colour on this side, and then I'm going to add some black on this side. So it doesn't matter what order, as long as you're using black on one side and white on the other. There we go. Some 
lovely. All just started spreading out, which is just what we want. So I'm just doing them in sort of any random order. on adding what we want is to make sure we've got enough paint on both sides that it's going to go one way and the other so we do have a question about um basically claire is asking if stores are safe to visit now absolutely um we're all being uh we have uh sanitization stations there's staff to meet you at the door um and yeah we've all got hand sanitizer it's going really well actually um I was shielding before and it's very safe here. And we're all ready to welcome you back into the stores. Everybody's really enthusiastic about getting back to crafting. Any information that you need will be on our on website. Our website. Oh, wrong button. There we go. I'm just gonna add some more black. That should. I'm going to run it from one side of the canvas to the other. If it's not enough, I'm going to add another group of paint. There we go, move it this way. See, these are all um, really mixed nicely because you can see they're not muddying each other up, so they're not affecting each other's colour, so you're still getting pure colour through. some more paint either end. I really like this pink from the other, so I'm going to add lots more of that one. got some really good um, demos um, on our ideas hub on hobbycraft.co.uk um, um, with some really good hints and tips for fluid art so if you haven't found out everything you want to in this then you can go and have another look over there I think there are also links to all the products as well so Ree has asked do hobbycraft sort for bottles uh, we do. Um, I think we're low on stock at the moment, but yes, we do stock the bottles. Okay. I find they, they're really useful, the bottles, just give you a little bit more control. The limited control there is with the fluid art. So, uh, Christine also asked. Yeah. Um, are the bottles ready mixed or have you made no, them up yourself? No, I have done exactly what I did with the cups and then poured them into the bottles. Um, we do, we've just launched a range of pre-mixed, so you don't need to worry about the mixing. All that you would do is um, add your silicon oil um, and they're now available on the website. I quite like mixing them myself, but both both ways is good. Right, so I'm just going to get all the colours to meet at the edges. I'm 
just going to fill in the black in that corner to meet with the paint. There we go. And then I shall leave that to dry for a couple of days. Okay, so that was our last one. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, our Artist of the Year competition for 2020. Um, all the details are actually on the website. Um, you have the opportunity to win a trophy, a £200 um, gift card, um, and to have all your work showcased on our social media channels, which is a really good opportunity. You check our website out for any details. Um, and next week, um, Charlotte is joining us next Thursday evening. Um, and she is an incredible artist. I'm really looking forward to watching it myself. Um, and she is using acrylics. Thank you very much. And where can we contact you? <laughs> where can we find you? Thank you. Um, my uh, site is, um, Instagram is at Creative Craft Garden. You all right?